What's up internet? I am Manish from rebellionrider.com. So in the previous tutorial, we learned how to create cursor for loop with simple explicit cursor. Now, what if we have parameterized cursor? Hence, today in this PL SQL tutorial, we will learn how to create cursor for loop with parameterized cursor in Oracle database. Today's PL SQL tutorial requires knowledge of parameterized cursor and cursor for loop beforehand. And fortunately, I have done video tutorials as well as blogs on both the topics. Find the links in the description. Now that I have notified you about it, let's move ahead and do an example of cursor for loop with parameterized cursor in Oracle database. I think we should put some space here. Okay, now it's good. Here in this declaration section, I declared a parameterized cursor with name cur underscore rebellion rider. Cursor name is user defined and you can give whatever name you want to your cursor. This cursor is taking a single parameter var underscore e underscore id which is of number data type and the select statement over which this explicit cursor is created is returning the data from employee id and first name column of employees table where employee id is greater than whatever number you will pass as argument to the parameter var underscore e underscore id of the cursor. Now let's move a step ahead and write the execution section of this PL SQL block and learn how to pass argument to the parameter of the cursor using cursor for loop. Here is our declaration section. Pretty simple, isn't it? Just four lines of code. Let's see what's happening here. Loop statement starts with keyword 4 followed by loop index. Loop index is a record type variable. You can name your loop index whatever you want. Followed by that we have another keyword in using which we are specifying our cursor name over which we want this cursor for loop to work. Here you can see this time I have supplied a value 200 right after the name of the cursor. This value is the argument for the parameter var underscore e underscore id of our cursor which we have declared. This means if you have a parameterized cursor and want to work with it using cursor for loop then you can specify the value for your parameter right after the name of your cursor into the loop statement. Don't forget to enclose the values of your parameter into the parenthesis. That's all you have to do. Anyways, next we have another keyword loop followed by that we have an output statement which is printing the values back on the output screen. At the end we have a reserved phrase end loop which indicates the ending of this cursor for loop and the keyword end indicates the end of this whole PL SQL block. Now let's try to execute this block and see whether we will have the employee ID and first name of all the employees who have employee ID greater than 200 or not. Here is our desired output. That is just a simple example to demonstrate you how to work with cursor for loop when we have parameterized cursor. Though this concept looks very small but it is important from both oracle certification as well as interview perspective. Hope you enjoyed watching and learned something new today. Don't forget to check the blog on the same topic to learn how to bypass the declaration section using inline cursor declaration within the cursor for loop. Find the link in the description. That is for today on cursor for loop with parameterized cursor. Do make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. You can send me your love, support and feedback either in the comment section down below or tweet me at rebellion rider. Find all my contact details in the description section. Stay tuned I will be back with another interesting tutorial soon. This is Manish from rebellionrider.com.